I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to find rank of the word when the letters are repeated. The question is what is the rank of the word David? So let me rewrite the word in capital letters D A V I D. As you can see two letters D are repeating right. So let's see how to figure out the rank of the word when there is some repetition. Rank as you understand is once we form all the words using these letters together then where will be David when arranged in alphabetical order as you do it in dictionary. That's the whole idea. Now since we have to ultimately arrange all of them in alphabetical order it's a good idea to write them in alphabetical order to begin with. So what is going to be my first word which can be formed with David? So alphabetically if you see A comes first. So the first word will be starting with A. So then will be D right? A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I. There are two Ds. Let me write two Ds here. I and then V. So this is my very first word to begin with. All the words starting with A will come before David. You can very clearly see. So let's begin the process of counting using permutation. And remember when we have repetition, we have to divide by a factorial of number of letters being repeated, right? So we'll use for permutation principles to get to the list of words. So if I begin counting words starting with A, I have four positions to fill. So I'll one, two, three, four positions to fill. These four positions can be filled with D, D, I, V. <coughs> so I have four factorial ways. Since we have two Ds, we'll divide by two factorial. Perfect. We'll do this calculation at the end to find the rank, right? So all words starting with A will come before David. They rank higher with a lower number, right? Okay. Now, the next letter is D. So if I begin with D, D is what we need, right? So, so that is what is required. So I'll just cancel this D. We got the first letter matching. Then we start from the leftmost side again, filling the words. A, okay. A, A is also there. Good. So we write A. Since A is also there, it matches position wise. Then we'll try the next one. Next one is D, but we need V, right? So D doesn't match. So all the words starting with D, A, D. We have two positions to fill in. The number of words are two factorial, right? They will come before David. Similarly, D A, once D words are exhausted, will pick up I. Two positions to fill in. They come before David. And once these words are exhausted, we'll come with V. So we get D A V and that is also two factorial. DAV. Okay. So that is what we need. So we strike it off. We got V also. We start from the leftmost side. We are left with D. Okay. So DAV then D. Well, we don't need this. We wanted I. Now this position can be filled only by one letter, which is I. So this is one way. The next word is ours, which is D A V so instead of D we have to start with I and I we've got perfect then we'll again begin from the leftmost side the only letter left is D and that is the word so this is the rank of the word by counting these numbers we know exactly 
if we arrange all the words with the letters D A V I D, then where will David appear? And that's called the rank. 4 factorial divided by 2 is 4 times 3, which is 12. 2 factorial is 2, this is 2, this is 1, and this is 1. Let's add them all. Sum of all this. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Since David appears in the 18th position from all the combination of words which can be formed by the letters D, A, V, I, D, we say rank of David is 18, right? So that's the way we can do it. Now this is a method which is very systematic but it may take time to do, especially when we have longer words with more letters and maybe more repetitions. I'll show you now a different method which we call shortcut method to do the same thing. You have to link these two methods so that you understand really what is happening here. So let's again begin with David. I mean, I should write them for a D A V I D. Okay. Now, as you have seen, alphabetically, A comes first, right? So, we can write this in alphabetical order, which is A, D, D, I, V. So, what we do here is we give positions to each letter. Now, A, A is given, let's write the words A. We have actually four of these letters, A, D, I, V. We can give position 1 to A, 2 to D, 3 to I, 4 to V, right? In their per order of alphabetical order as in dictionary. So, D is 2, A 1, V is 4, I is 3, D is 2. So, that is the order in which they appear. Next step is, to the right of each number which you have written, how many are less than the number itself? So in the case of first letter D, 2 is its position amongst the four letters we are doing. A is the only one which comes before, so there is only one letter which comes before D. For A, all these numbers are bigger, so there is no one, none. For V, 3 and 2 is smaller than 4, so there are two letters which are before, after on the right side of 4, which are less than 4. For 3, 2 is less than 3, so there is one letter. And for 2, there is none, of course. So this is the next step. First step is assign numbers to each letter based on their order, alphabetical order. And then second step is to write how many letters on the right have lower numbers? That means they could come before them, right? And next step is multiply this by starting from left 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, and 3 factorial, and then 4 factorial, right? <coughs> 4 factorial really means that there are four positions to be filled when you start with D, four factorial. Now we are talking about repetition. Let's look into that. Out of these, how many are repeated? Well, two Ds. So out of these numbers, divide by two factorial, since D is being repeated. Check with repetition for other positions. There is none, right? So, so that is the only position where you find repetition. Correct? Now that leads to your position just before David. We are saying how many numbers come before this, right? So after those, David comes. So we add one to this series to give the rank of the word David itself. Correct? Next, we'll multiply position by this factorial, like number of words or combinations which can be made with that position of the letter. 
So it becomes 1 time 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial plus 0 times 3 factorial plus 2 times I should write 2 factorial plus 1 times 1 factorial plus 0 times 1 factorial and plus 1 correct so that gives us 4 factorial by 2 factorial which is 12 plus 0 for this one plus 2 times 2 factorial means 2 times 2 which is 4 plus 1 plus 0 and this plus 1 the position so it is 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 plus 1 which is 16 17 18 right so we get the same rank 18 without really getting into exact words being formed so this is a shortcut method where we assign position numbers and then figure out combinations of words which can be formed where order is important in case of repetition well divide by the number of letters which are getting repeated following principles of permutation which you have learned add them all and at the end add one to get the rank of the word itself right so these are the two methods we call this method as a shortcut method we'll explore further these methods with slightly bigger words and see how we can easily find rank of any word i hope that helps feel free to write your comments share my videos thanks for watching